Are you on? Yeah, we're on, I think. Yeah. Dave Carl, you're with the ultimate in metallic thrashers. So we're, we're here in the uh, bathroom at Larry's Hideaway. Yeah, with the Razor. All, all four of us. All four of us. Uh, you guys are putting out a new album in the next couple of months. What's it going to be called? It's called Executioner's Song. What tracks are on it? It's going to have a few from Arm and Dangerous, uh, the faster ones, and we have a new demo that we've been circulating around called Escape the Fire. And we're going to take probably the faster numbers and the wicked numbers off that and thrash. put it together for the ultimate thrash album from Canada. Okay, yeah, you guys are just signed with Viper now. How did that feel come about? That happened when uh, originally Attic offered us something in October of uh, 84, and we, we weren't that interested because we didn't feel it was giving us creative freedom, and it was on the Attic label. And then uh, a couple of months later, they called us again, and they told us that they were more interested in our heavier sound, so they formed their own label called Viper, and they're issuing a lot of new heavier products. Uh, the two best so far are our new one and Running Wild. They'll be coming out shortly, both of them. Are you going to do a single off the album? Uh, it's debatable right now. We don't, we're not really a, a, a single kind of band, but if we do, yeah, they'll probably pull something off. Distant Thunder. Probably pull Distant Thunder and put some unreleased thrashers on the other side. Okay, this will be your second album. The first one was Armed and Dangerous. How many copies of that did you sell? Uh, we sold out of our, our entire pressing, which was close to about 1,800. Totally l'histoire. <laughs> It's history. It's sold. It's gone. Lots of headbangers have it. Collector's item. Collector's item. So I hear. Uh, you were supposedly going to sign a deal with Metal Blade. What happened there? Well, what happened was we were right into that at, the, at uh, around December. We talked to Bill Matarder from Metal Blade. He was really into having us come on the label. But the problem was was that they've been pumping so much money into Slayer as of late, who are their top priority right now, that they didn't have a lot of uh, you know money to to start with new bands. So what happened was they said they might be interested around March or April. And this was back in December, so to us it seemed like a long time. And then Viper called about, you know, we were going to take the, the deal, but Viper called a week later and they offered us the deal right there and then, so we took it. That's good. Um, you guys are uh, enjoying quite a bit of success right at the moment. Uh, are you surprised by that in any way? Uh, kind of. Come on, Brian. We're, we're not really... <laughs> Alright, we'll cancel that question. You guys are from... Uh, from Guelph. What does Guelph think of Razor and what does Razor think of Guelph? Okay, well I can tell you right now. Guelph doesn't know much about Razor. Guelph's kind of ignorant to thrash metal. And what does Razor think of Guelph? Well, it's a good place to rehearse, but it's certainly not a place to gig. <laughs> what do you think of uh, the Canadian metal scene overall? I think Toronto's the only city that's really kicking a serious ass, and uh, we should have a lot more cities like Toronto. We're going to Montreal soon. we got some animals on the other side. Ignore the animals. We're going to Montreal soon, and we hope that they're as heavy as Toronto. What do you think of the reaction of the Toronto Thrasher? Uh, personally, uh, we have we have seen a lot of uh, a lot of Toronto audiences around, you know, from Mississauga to the dead center of Toronto. The Toronto Thrasher is the ultimate that we've encountered at this point. I feel that Larry's not letting people in. I feel that that sucks because a lot of our fans are uh, underage are underage and not there to even drink, they're there to have a good time and maybe literally should consider once in a while having an unlicensed night, have them pay a small cover for it to make some money. But if they can't, then you can't do anything about it. <laughs> so, case closed. Apparently Stace keeps getting arrested in Toronto. Why? Because the cops in this, this city are always have their hand out trying to get money. I personally have been ticketed about 200 times in the last three days. No. <laughs> But that isn't far away from the truth. They, don't like they always have their hands out. You can't do anything in the city uh, one one inch over, you know, when you've got the long hair and they're after your ass. And Stace happens to have the long hair, so they don't like him right on sight. And if they don't like a guy in the city, they decide right there and then they're going to do something to him. Okay, uh, musical influences. Do you like any hardcore or punk bands? Uh, I haven't heard a lot of hardcore or punk, to be honest. It's, it's hard to say. I, personally, my taste ranges to Slayer, to uh, Slayer. To, uh, <laughs> I like Exodus, Megadeth. I like Megadeth, this is stuff Derek just gave me recently. It's anything that kicks Sonic. severe ass, anything that's as fast as Hunting the Chapel EP is good to me, as long as it's got a degree of talent on it, of course. Uh, as far as hardcore punk goes, I haven't heard any yet, so I, I really don't... I've heard some, but I haven't heard any to really give an opinion on any given band, right? So I can't really say. There's a lot of violence in that heavy metal music as it stands today. What's your general feelings on torture and mutilation? Our feelings on torture and mutilation are, they're nice, but... <laughs> no, you see, we don't care. You know, we're not a Satanist band. We, we, don't, uh, we don't sing about Satanic lyrics. We try to avoid that because there's so many thrash bands that are doing that now that it would be monotonous if we did that. We wanted to be different, and that's probably some of the reason why people do like us, is that our lyrical content is somewhat different than most thrash metal bands. And, uh, but we're still thrashing just the same, right? 
So anyway, we like mutilation, destruction, and all that stuff. We sing about that too, but we don't sing about Satan, right? We sing about it in a different context. Uh, you guys have done so many spots of Anvil. Yeah. What do you think of Anvil? I think Anvil are taking, making a mistake with the direction they're taking right now. Uh, Personally, they're going down the, the hole. If they don't get a deal soon, they're yeah, see, going to be an unhappening band. The problem with Anvil right now is, is that they're, they're playing so much commercial material. They're trying to, they're changing their format, and all the hardcore headbangers coming out. And when we open for them, it's we're, we're showing. I'm not it's not egotistical. We're showing them up to an extent because they're not sticking to their own formula. What they want to do is they want to capture a huge audience of play arenas, right? But Anvil's just not a band that should do that. I mean, you can tell a band from the beginning if they're going to be a hardcore band or if they're just going to destine for huge success. And Anvil never was. So they're making a mistake in my opinion. Okay, last word. Trash Forever Toronto. Trash Forever Toronto. Buy Executioner's Song. Try to find Armin Dangerous. Buy that too. Collectors buy everything. Come see us every time you can. And we'll be around for a Put long time. Put on a good show for you. Now we got some words from the chicken man. I got some chemical blasts for me. We're sick of those fucking poser bands that play in this place. Yeah, you want some heavy fucking, fucking thrash metal? I'm sick of those fucking son of a bitch goddamn man. I'm sick of poser. What do you think of me? Gimme, gimme, gimme! Fuck the fuck! Bonus is goddamn a bonus. <laughs> yes. And just wait, Compton Hall. You fucking see nothing yet. And when I get in front of the old bonus, yes. It's gonna be fucking slamming like fucking new tomorrow, wimps. <laughs> <laughs>